Sorry I'm late. Oh, last minute changes of Christmas. How are you? Good to see you. Come on. All right, so thank you all for having me back. So, Emma, when you came up to my office, I told you that I would investigate and let you know the results. Okay? Um, Tom and Ann may chime in, but I will be sharing the report with you. Okay? Okay. And I have my notes here, so I may look down from time to time, but uh, basically. Can I, can I just say one thing? Sure. Real quick? Um, through this whole process, a lot of what Ben has had to research through your colleagues, um, there's a lot of sensitive material here, and um, this is this is very serious. And you know, Ben has done a, a great job in, in figuring out what it is that we need to do moving forward in, in in this process. It's just that it's a very weighty issue. I agree. Okay, so. Going off what Tom was saying, I want you to know that whenever I'm asked to investigate these situations, I take them very seriously. Now, I spoke to a few of your colleagues. I looked at your written complaint as well as the attached text messages, okay? All right, so why don't we start by discussing the specific allegations? Okay, it's the document on top. Everybody have it? Yeah. First, your claim that Peter cornered you in the kitchen, blocked your exit, and asked you about sleeping your way up in the company. Now, Peter denies that this occurred. Right, well, um, I texted Elizabeth um, about it the same day, and I sent that to you in the email, and I think it should be in here somewhere. Em, I'm sorry, we just can't prove that it happened the way you say it happened. But why would I send a message like that if, if it didn't happen? I understand. But unfortunately, it's just not enough to definitively verify your claim. Okay, moving on to your allegation that Peter accosted you in the elevator. Now, he says he doesn't remember that happening. Well, isn't there footage, right? There are security cameras in the elevator, so... Yes, they have footage, but it's erased after six months. And as you waited so long to come forward, I'm afraid we just can't corroborate this allegation either. All right, let's talk about those instances where you say Peter would wait until everyone in the office left and then sit behind you in the studio while you worked, asking intimate questions. Peter has admitted that on occasion he spoke to you about subjects that may have made you feel uncomfortable. And he has acknowledged that it was inappropriate and confirmed it will never happen again. Well, that's a start. But Emma, you need to understand that this behavior does not constitute sexual harassment as defined in the company guidelines or even federal law. Now, while Peter is a senior editor, I found that he does not, in fact, has never had any direct ability to affect the terms and conditions of your employment. He's not your supervisor. Well, he was supervising my work when I was working for him. If he wasn't my supervisor, who is? Emma, as office manager, I'm always your supervisor, regardless of who you're working with on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. Next, the timing of the complaint. There's just no credible explanation for why it would take you a year and a half to report this ongoing behavior. What was I supposed to do? I'm sorry. I should have reported it earlier. So, 
to conclude, Emma, the behavior that we can corroborate is clearly inappropriate, but it's not illegal. So I'm making the following recommendation to Tom and Ann. Peter should be instructed to avoid any communication that would have the potential of making you feel uncomfortable. And the company will make every effort so that you will not have to work with Peter again in the future. Unless it's necessary for a project. Okay, well, that concludes the report on my end. Do you have any questions, Emma? It's fine, it's totally fine. Yeah, they said I'm never I'm never gonna have to work with him again. Listen, I have a lot of work I have to get done, and um, people are probably wondering what I'm doing outside. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I love you too. a lot of materials so still going. Do you think you'll have by tomorrow morning? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Great. Oh, you weren't at that thing last night, right? No, no, I was uh, working late. Uh-huh, it was pretty good. Same people mm -hmm. as last time, though. Ah, oh, well, what are you doing? You working this weekend? We might have to have the creatives in again. Well, um, I can try to be here if you think that we'll need to do that. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Maybe your clients are here. Do you want me to bring them in? Can you stand away at the front desk? Talk to you later. Mm -hmm. 